Hi friends, welcome back. Let's meet today to discuss on the fifth edition of Smart India Hackathon, which has been announced by the Ministry of Education, Innovation Council, Government of India, as a part of 75th year of Indian independence, which is celebrated all over the country as Azadika Amrit Mahocho. This year, the fifth edition of Smart India Hackathon, we have the college registration for single point of contact and school registration for single point of contact has been started and request all the college and school point of contacts to go and directly register for the program on these links and the students also can register on this portal. Then we have all that is required currently is all the students, basically students from colleges and all higher education institutions and the school children also eligible this year, less than 12, uh, 12 standard. Okay, and uh, they are giving over uh, uh, so for 500 problem statements are given, submitted by different ministries, departments, organizations, so government of India and government respect to state governments. Uh, you can roughly scan through the problem statements and identify in your area and then uh, probably participate in the hackathon series. So uh, really something is new in this Start India Hackathon 2022. Uh, this, this brings the next generation evolution by inclusion of new methodology to inculcate the culture of startup and innovation ecosystem across different age groups. And this year, uh, SIH and Smart India Hackathon Junior is added, basically for school students from sixth to 12th class, uh, will be able to showcase their talent and generate out of the box open innovation ideas. And as usual, we have uh, uh, Smart India Hackathon Seniors, for, which is open for regular students of uh, higher education institutions, pursuing graduate, postgraduate, postgraduation, and who will be eligible to showcase their talent and generate out of the box, open India, open uh, innovation, innovation ideas. So if you see the uh, Smart India Hackathon journey so far from 2017, when it started, uh, nearly 15 lakh students participated and uh, more, over more than 8,000 institutions participated, 365 organizations and uh, 6,535 selected idea solutions and total 2,145 plus problem statements have been covered. And the Smart World's the biggest open platform for the innovators of entrepreneurs of tomorrow to start India towards a smarter India program. And this is the, the main elements are basically the identify the ingenuity of the students, basically to harness the creativity and expertise of students, academicians, and visionaries, and then engaging them so that the sparkling at the sparking at the institution level hackathons. Uh, feeling the imagination and the futuristic way in building funnel for Startup India campaign, thereby in collaborating uh, for crowdsourcing intelligence for improving governance and quality of life. This empowers uh, in terms of enabling possibilities and enhancing opportunities for citizens to deliver innovative solutions to India's daunting problems. Now, what is the Smart India Hackathon, if you would like to see? Smart India Hackathon is a nationwide initiative to provide students with a platform to solve some of the pressing problems we face in our daily lives and thus inculcate a culture of product innovation and a mindset of problem solving among the students and faculty. The first four editions in 17, 18, 19 and 20 proved to be the extremely successful in promoting innovation out of the box thinking and young minds, especially engineering students from across India. Then innovation unlocks value for students, aware of the problems from different ministries, private organizations and institutions uh, with the problem uh, statements. And so this year's uh, themes have been uh, with a tag of uh, no problem is too big and no idea is too small. So they are basically the transportation and logistics, robotics and drones, clean and green technology, tourism, Renewable, sustainable energy, then blockchain and cybersecurity areas, miscellaneous technology area ideas in 
tertiary sectors like hospitality, financial services, entertainment, and retail. And then smart education. Smart education, a concept that describes learning in digital age. It enables learners to learn more effectively, efficiently, flexibly, and comfortably. And we'll be concentrating on the smart education programs. Then on disaster management, which includes ideas related to risk mitigation, planning and management before and after due to disaster. Smart automation, where the ideas are focused on the intelligent use of resources for transforming and advancement of technology with combining the artificial intelligence to explore more various sources and get invaluable insights into it. Then fitness and sports is also included, uh, which can focus on ideas that can boost fitness activities and assist in keeping fit. Heritage and culture, where ideas related to that showcase the rich culture, heritage, and traditions of India. And medtech, biotech, and health tech, which includes the cutting edge technology in these sectors, which continues to be in demand. Recent shifts in healthcare trends showing popular and also present an array of opportunities for innovation. Then the culture, agriculture, food tech and rural development includes developing solutions, keeping in mind the need to enhance the primary sector of education, primary sector of India, which is nothing but agriculture and to manage and process our agricultural products. And the smart vehicles related to creating intelligent devices to improve the commutation sector. And transportation and logistics, which includes uh, the ideas to address the growing pressures on the city's resources, transport network, and logistics infrastructure. Robotics and drones, uh, include ideas to design drones and rob robots that can solve some of the processing challenges of India, such as handling medical emergencies, search and rescue operations, etc. Clean and green technologies, uh, which could be in the form of waste seg segregation, disposal, and improved sanitation system. Then tourism is basically ideas that can boost the current situation of the tourism industries including hotels, travel, and others. So all these are the basic uh, themes and all these are the uh, organizing committee for us, uh, for organizing uh, this. So request um, all of you to register now and the, the last date for uh, registration and submission of idea is 31st March, 2022. And then you are concerned, uh, single point of contact of your college and school will be responsible for screening these ideas at a college level and then sending it to the uh, Smart India Hackathon of the Ministry of Education Innovation Council, wherein they will take another five, five to six weeks to shortlist. And then they will request the shortlisted ideas to come and present at different locations in the country uh, for the final hackathon. And for providing this, the Government of India uh, will be providing the travel costs to all the participants to different locations. So uh, please uh, request all the uh, interested candidates, mainly the college students, engineering college students from different streams. Please, this is a very good opportunity for you to showcase your talent, to uh, you know exhibit your creative thinking and win the recognition at the national level. So please contact your respective faculties who can be registered as a SPOC for colleges and SPOC for schools. Then uh, at the same time, all the um, students, you can go through the problem statements um, here, which is given in the portal, wherein uh, you can scan through different categories from uh, the selected theme can be agriculture and all these selected themes which we have seen. And the categories are both hardware and software and organizations can uh, are participating in this or different ministries, schools and colleges. Uh, from different government of India organizations, both state government, central government, industry personnel, and uh, student innovation. Okay, so student innovation, these are all the problems, which is the organizer throwing the problem. This is the problem statement. The details are given here, whether it is a software category and the respective problem statement number, and the domain bucket is which one, medtech or any other uh, technology thing. So if you do not have these, uh, problems and the student, you can click on the industry innovation, student innovation 
wherein you can come out with your own uh, problems. So there are more, more than 500 um, problem solutions available here uh, with 443 problem uh, software solutions and um, 91 problem statements for hardware. So register now and be vigilant and you can contact me for any assistance in this. Uh, I happen to be the uh, executive director of the Atal Incubation Center of Niti Aya Government of India and single point of contact of Sri Krishna Devara University. And you can always contact any anytime you can contact me um, uh, through this uh, uh, platform and I can be of help uh, to, um, uh, you know, uh, mentor you in participating in this hackathon. Right. Thank you very much and uh, take care uh, and be creative. All the best.